But yeah, I'm fine. I just I did just get back from New York uh, two weeks ago, and that was the most awesome poetry, well, poet experience I've ever had. Um, I was in a bar, and I was surrounded. Actually, there were there were only about 25 people there, but all of them all of them were poets that I knew. Uh, most of them were poets whose work I knew and I, whose books I own, and they were all listening to me read as one of the key readers. So I got to read for 20 minutes, and um, it's all on video. You can see it on uh, YouTube if you so desire. Uh, what was funny about it, though, to me was that I, um, I read a poem called the, After the Wedgwood Baptist Church Shooting, and uh, that's obviously not a very um, light poem. Um, and anyway, a woman came after me, up to me afterwards and said, you made me cry. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, I took, but then I told her, that is the effect I tend to have on women. Um, but uh, she bought my book anyway, so that was nice. So anyway, this first one is called The Turning Tide. He stared in darkness, wanting something more than sex and breakfast. She lay fast asleep. He watched her drool. She'd let some out, then keep sucking it back like the tide at the shore. He'd tell her, what? Oh, baby, I adore your rosy cheeks. She'd think he was a creep. He wasn't clever, and he wasn't deep. He had some wheels, though, and he wasn't poor. He touched her neck. Grumbling, she scratched his wrist. What would, he, what, what would she like? A fancy bra? His key? He'd buy more flowers. Walmart had a sale. This woman wasn't just a piece of tail. He'd have to put the seat down when he pissed. She drooled. He drifted, dreaming of the sea. Let it be not said I'm not romantic. And this is one more. It's a little darker than that. Um, it's about getting fired from work in the way that people tend to get fired from um, companies these days. And I've seen it happen too often. It's called a disaster. A brief discussion, then security, like ants spring into view. These suits have come for you. Others will pack your things for privacy. You tried to tell them you could work much faster. They stared, and you despaired. You thought your boss had cared when you were sick. She hissed, you're a disaster. All present shook your hand, wished you the best, their eyes like chips of ice. Walking, you feel a vice gripping your gut. You failed the final test. Not knowing why, you drift between blank men out of a tomb you'll never haunt again. Thank you. <laughs>